Intel has officially given us details on the Z390 chipset and their first ever Canon Lake 10 nanometer product has officially been announced. Plus, I've got an update on this whole ASRock and the EU thing, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Melt. We've had rumors and leaks on the Z390 for nearly a year at this point, with all but the official announcement we pretty well knew it was coming. Most of the leaks pointed to a necessity for their upcoming 8-core mainstream Intel CPU. The good news is that Intel has officially detailed the chipset on their site, and it's, um, how do I put this, weird and possibly almost pointless. The only difference between the Z390 and Z370 is the inclusion of 802.11ac Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5, and USB 3.1 Gen 2 support. Like that's it. No added PCI Express lanes, no higher frequency memory support, nothing. I mean, it's not completely worthless for those who just have to have integrated Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but these can be attained through modules and I'd argue not exactly critical for an entire new chipset. This somewhat brings me to the bad-ish news, because it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad news. Basically, there isn't any word on support for an 8-core CPU. That's the ish part, though. There's a couple possibilities in my mind. For one, a chance at another refresh for this generation or that possible 8-core chip is coming, but was just intentionally not mentioned here to give away any spoilers. I mean, it certainly would explain a whole new chipset for this, though they could have just used it as a way to keep things fresh and updated. Who knows? Although I'd definitely be looking to Computex for possible announcements. Don't forget that their Core X Enthusiast line was announced at last year's Computex. Just make sure to stay subscribed to GamerMeld to find out more when that's available. Next up for today, we have one of the first products powered by Intel's 10 nanometer process. Found on JD.com, a Chinese retailer is selling a Lenovo IdeaPad with an i3-8121U, a dual-core CPU running at a base of 2.2 GHz and a boost of 3.1. Obviously, this isn't anything that impressive, but it's nice to see 10 nanometer finally making their way to products. It's just unfortunate that Intel is like three years late. Lastly, while this is a few days late, I think it's important to clear up any misconceptions and misinformation that's out there. Earlier this month, some rumors were spreading that AMD had banned ASRock from selling their new graphics cards in Europe. It all originated from the German Toms Hardware, which did a review on one of their cards. ASRock contacted them requesting information on how they received the graphics card because they weren't wanting to market to that area. And while it's been edited and updated since, Toms Hardware stated, from an ASRock sales manager that AMD had not given them authorization to sell in Europe. All of this was a little odd to me, so I wanted to wait on updates, and we've got a pretty big one from Forbes. According to an ASRock Global PR rep, the company got into the GPU business specifically for cryptocurrency mining. Now, there's no reason they wouldn't eventually make the cards available to gamers, but clearly that wasn't the goal, with ASRock only selling cards at a minimum order of 500. Now, Tom's Hardware did update their article to say it was basically ASRock's decision to sell in only certain countries due to internal planning, but it seems that internal planning is basically the cryptocurrency business. Where they'll go now that GPU sales from cryptocurrencies are expected to plummet this quarter, I'm not sure, but I think it's good we put the original reason they're not in Europe to rest. So while that does it for today, what do you think of the news? Do you think Intel is going to be releasing an 8-core CPU? And will ASRock eventually sell to gamers? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.